What's up guys, welcome to my channel Engineer's Dream. This is Dinesh here and in this video, I'll be showing you how to create your very first Android application. So after you have installed Android Studio, click on this option which says start a new Android Studio project. So it will redirect you to this window over here. Now this is one of the first window out of the four windows that you have to fill in. So in this first window, you have to fill in your application name, your package name, and the project location. So I'll name my first app as Hello World. After giving your application a suitable name, next comes the package name. But before package name, you have something called as company domain. So if you have a website or if you run your own company, then you can put the company domain over here. Like I have a website by the name of Engineers Dream. So what I'll do is I will just put in engineersdream.com over here. Okay. So I've just put my website's domain name over here. Now, as soon as I put my company domain name over here, just see how the package name changes. So now my package name is world. So your package name is basically a combination of your application name and the company domain. But everything is in reverse order. So first, as you can see, com is written, after com is engineer's dream, and after engineer's dream comes your application name, that is hello world. And this is one way to name your packages. If you do not have a website or if you do not have your own company, what you can do is you can simply put your name over here followed by .com. So if your name is Mark, you can just type in mark.com. So your package name becomes com.mark.helloworld. Now after that comes the project location. So as you can see over here, my project location is in C users Dinesh Android Studio project slash hello world. Now let me give you a very important tip. It's always beneficial to keep this project location in either your D drive, E drive or F drive. Because just in case, if you happen to format your PC tomorrow and since your projects are located in your C drive, there are chances that whatever applications that you have created will be erased completely. So what I'll do right now is I'll click on this button and I'll change my project location inside any of the other drives. So now, as you can see, I've changed my project directory to D drive. Okay, so now, so now my projects are stored in D, Artenia, Android Studio project slash hello world. Now, once you're done with this, click on next. Now, in this window, you need to set the minimum API level. You can also see over here, there are a variety of options been listed like phones and tablets, where TV, now, since you're making applications for phones and tablets, please make sure this is checked, which it will be. After that, you just need to choose the minimum API level. Now, what I mean by minimum API level is very simple. Whenever you create an Android application, you need to set a target API level, meaning which is the maximum API level your application should work with. And you should also set a minimum API level, meaning this is the lowest version on which my application will run and my application will not work on versions which are below this version. So as you can see over here, my target version is basically API 23 Android 6.0, which is Marshmallow. So my application will start working on applications like Marshmallow and the least API level on which my application will work is API 50, that is ice cream sandwich. So now if you have a phone that is API level 40, then obviously my application will not run on this phone. So according to whatever applications you're making, it's always better you choose your API levels carefully. And it's very much important that you set your minimum API level very carefully. So I'll just leave the API level to API 15 as it is. After that, I'll click next. Now in this window, you just need to choose an activity. You can see over here, there are a list of activities. Okay, like there's a blank activity, empty activity. We also have activities like full screen. Currently, I'll just choose the empty activity and after that I'll click next. Now after choosing the empty activity, you'll basically see two file names over here. One is the activity name and second is the layout name which is labeled as activity underscore main. I'll keep both the names as it is and after that I'll hit finish. Now you'll be redirected to this window. As you can see my application is still building. So if you look at this progress bar over here, once this is complete, then I can say that my application is built. So now, as you can see, the progress bar is gone over here. That basically means my application is built completely. So congrats guys, you have just created your very first Hello World application. And as I told you before, I'll just stop over here. 
And in the next video, I'll show you what are some of the main files and folders that are placed inside your Android application. So if you have liked this video, then please feel free to hit the like button. And if you want to learn Android with me, then go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom. Thank you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video.